Good day fellow investors. Now, Vipshop Holdings is another Chinese growth stock, but it's an excellent, excellent example. What happens to a hot growth stock when the sentiment shifts? And that's why it's extremely important to look at this company, which I will put at the end of the video, you will see it will be almost become a value stock, which is another perspective on investing. So a little bit for everyone here. Let's analyze Vipshop Holdings. So Vipshop is an online discount retailer that buys in bulk uh, what JD and other things cannot sell the brands and then they, sh they sell them through their network at the extreme discount to such buyers. The company went public at $0.55 in 2012, so extremely low, and the stock took off in 2013 and reached the high of 29 in 2015, only to drop to 8 in December of 2017. Spiked again in January of 2018 to reach a high of 19 and now, just 7 months later, is trading at multi-year lows at 6. When a stock is trading that volatile, it means that the market doesn't know what to think about it. Because there are or not enough information or the information changes that quick because then somebody gets excited about the potential but then it doesn't deliver and then you see ups and downs ups and downs and that's normal for a growth stock when it's delivering great when the growth is growing then every model really pushes the sky's the limit when the growth slows slows down the growth starts contracting then those earnings models fall from the sky, they crash from the sky and stock prices are trading then at what 20% of what they were trading just a few years ago. According to the company, discount retailing is only online, the future in China, because there are not so many outlets and companies really don't have where to push their excess non-sold inventory. Vipshop is the preferred discount channel for popular brands. They have been really growing in numbers, in brands and brand partners. So that's a positive for the company. They have economies of scale. They have first mover advantage. They are the leader in the market. So that's another positive. But the growth has been solid. They have started growing at 130% per year. Then it dropped to 64, 40, 24. And now I think... Uh, they are still growing fast, but 18% was the last growth in revenue. So that's slowing down, slowing down and slowing down. And that's something the market does, doesn't really like. Active customer growth is even lower at 6% for the last reported quarter. Further, apart from slower growth, margins have been contracting. So from an average margin of 25%, it declined to the current 19.5 gross margin and the net margin shrank from 5 to the current 2.8. So the combination of contracting margins and slowing down revenues is probably what killed the stock. They are doing whatever they can to grow, enlarge the customer base, enhance the quality, enhance the capacity invest in financing, giving loans to customers, whatever, in order to try to get to more growth, because growth is everything in the stock market. However, that growth is very costly because they have negative cash flows, so a lot of capital spending to sustain this level or to even sustain the 18% growth. Uh, from the conference call, uh, the management has high hopes from the new deals with Tencent and JD to attract customers. But that, if you go back, you go through the questions of the conference call, you see it's a little bit shaky. Because for example, on JD, they, the JD customers stay on JD to buy from Vipshop. So Vipshop doesn't even get the data from JD.com. So that's one, also from Tencent, we don't know how that is implying and the ticket that the customers are buying through the two channels that has brought 24% of the customers in the last quarter is very, very low. So I don't know who is giving data here, who is letting Vipshop access to what. So that's a very shaky strategy to grow on. Further, the management told the worst possible thing they can say in a conference call. They say, we might see some fluctuations in our margins, but over the long term, we are quite confident. You never know when you're an analyst, what does that mean? What is the long term? What is the short term? What is fluctuation? Then on operating cash flow, they think it will come back to its normal level 
or will start to go up in a few quarters. So more a few quarters on waiting, waiting and waiting. The question here is, will Vipshop be there in 10 years? Discount retailing, it means that the buyers really look for discounts and they will look everywhere for those discounts to get what they want at the cheapest possible price. And that's something that a lot of competition, a very tough business, a lot of investments, a lot of marketing. So the margins are really, really low and you can never have a moat because there is no loyalty within those customers. And that's their business. So Vipshop is not an amazing business, but it's starting to trade close to value, which is something to take into account. Of course, there is the positive risk that if growth starts to gain traction, if they start to improve the cash flows, unlikely but possible, then the stock will jump back to 20. So that's a positive. However, on the margin of safety of the value side, they have a network, they have a distribution network, they have invested a lot in property, plant and equipment. So that's something that's valuable. Let's see that from a value perspective. The book value per share is 3.55 US dollars. So that's already something that gives you some protection. There is no long term debt, which is good. There is no goodwill. It's very low. So at the price of around 3, 3.5, this could really become a value player as the company can deliver 99% of its product through its own last mile network. So the conclusion, not a growth story anymore. Tough business to be in. Look at it from a value perspective at $3 for a margin of safety. If the company continues to grow at current levels, we are close to fair value now. If they grow at 18% per year over the next five years, then we are fairly valued. If they grow just at 5% over the next five years per year, then we are uh, fairly valued at around three, which is again the margin of safety. So at around three, it really becomes a value play. And also an analyst in the conference call asked if they are thinking about going private. The management said no, but what has the management to do there? They will, if they get a good offer, if they see it's favorable for, for them, that might be option. So if the stock goes down to four, let's say, and then the management gives you a buyout, buyout offer at 5.5, you are at a loss from this perspective. And that's something that happens often with Chinese companies. If the market loses faith, then the management simply take advantages and buys what is there for very little money. And that's something that really takes out the potential upside of such investments in the long term. So at the premium, perhaps some funds will start to cir circle around this company to see whether there is value. I think the downside, there is still downside 50% at that po point in time, if it hits that point in time, because those acquisitions buyout take a little bit of time. So it might be interesting to watch, to see if it will hit four free, and then to really make it a value play, really Benjamin Graham book value play to invest in and have potential upside, huge if the growth comes back, small if there is a buyout, but limited downside because there is value, there are cash flows, there is a lot of clients and it is a relatively okay business. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this discussion on Vipshop, very interesting company. And it shows really what can happen to the Chinese uh, stock if you are watching it. From growth, from a declining growth to a private buyout that really screws uh, other foreign, especially foreign investors. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video.